no calves yet. Two of them are very, very close. Uh, uh, Angelina, uh, Angelica, sorry, our vet. Um, she said two, you know, could within a few days to a couple of weeks at tops. So, so yeah, just keep monitoring them. But yeah, Sunday morning, a bit late up actually. Got a few jobs on now. Now, uh, special just to walk around stock and a few bits and pieces to feed and one thing or another. But yeah, bad news this morning. I've just heard on to tell you that Dodie Weir, the Scottish international rugby player, has died. Uh, yeah, fellow farmer as well. So, thoughts go out to uh, his family. Yeah, bad job because they reckon he was an absolute spot on fella. Him. So, yeah, rough rugby player and all, but he could. Uh, he could level them so yeah yeah so bad news but yeah some some air to put in these and and a bit of a bit of calm and uh i just want to have a walk around a few uh fields to be honest because it's been a lot quite a bit of rain at night and uh, maybe i have to open up a few grip holes out to uh, let a bit of surface water off and uh yeah not doing so much really right crack on bacon pigs going on Tuesday and it's a good job really because bad are going tight for space you know there's uh, there's quite a apparently a backlog of pork ow, ooh, nearly fell over. a backlog of pork or trade steady and usually at this time of year trade's good with run up to Christmas but yeah they're struggling getting rid of them but 400 going on Tuesday so that'll make a lot of space so right I'm off for a, a walk yeah we had a bit of a bloody uh, surprise the other day and we thought it was safe these bales here had all fallen down into the yard and they'd been getting wet and the bales had got sort of heavy at one side it pulled them over and you know I'm quite strict about when you've left a, a straw stack leave it safe because bloody hell if them had landed on anybody or a dog it'd have killed them so we're starting to get through a lot of straw this you know this damp weather you use twice as much as normal so right, I'm for a paddle about. I've noticed I put foliar feed on all our winter barleys because uh, they were looking sick and they've really, it's really kicked them into shape. They're really taking, uh, uh, they look a lot healthier than they did. So yeah, just have a quick look at this rape and then paddle around. Land's becoming very wet now. It's starting to get full up. Um, you know, it's stood a lot, but bah, we've had some rain here. Um, but it stood a lot, but drains are full, running full blast. Um, becks are running. Um, and yeah, it just keeps coming, a deluge, and one after other. Um, yeah, after that dry spell, we've all, always, all, all, all of a sudden gone the other way. So yeah. This is second video today, hope you don't mind, but a bit going on. And... Uh, if you get a chance, I know if you watch this on your telly, you probably won't be able to because you can't subscribe on your telly. But if you're watching it on your phone or your laptop or, or whatever you're watching it on and you can subscribe, give us a subscribe if you want, you know, to carry on and watch them. Because uh, only 30, I looked in the analytics of the channel this morning, only 30% of me watchers are subscribed. You know, and uh, obviously I get a bit of a wage through it, so it makes it warrant it warrant you know it sort of makes it worthwhile putting content on i mean because uh, there's a bit of time like i mean i have to film it and then i have to edit it then i have to answer first questions because i'm trying um so yeah if you don't mind give us a subscribe top my wages up a little bit 
yeah white radish look fantastic stubble tannins pretty poor fodder radish uh, fodder rape not worth growing well not this year anyway but i tell you it's just really improving every day is this uh, this mild weather's really improved our oil seed rape not to worry about now yeah 100 percent happy Yeah, these are uh, all pot drains actually out of this field and it's running fantastic. Really is taking some water and that's surface water just out of this, this field here, yon end. So, uh, yeah, very, very wet. Um, in between two fields here, that's been direct drilled a few years on trot. This is always like we always work it with uh, either Simba, um, sometimes for a, run a power over it to make it a better seed bed and run and and drill it with Vardastad, but this year we've simbered it and stri and, uh, and in with the um, combi and uh, it looks fantastic and then we turn our eyes to this one which is direct drilled there's twice as much water stood on it and it just don't look as good well it ain't as good I know it's uh, a bit of it's hidden stubble but yeah, I don't know. I follow, uh, is it Ollie Harrison, Holly Blogs? A little bit and uh, I don't know, he sort of tends to sort of think anybody with a power or a plow or heavy deep cultivations, I don't know what they're doing, but you look at that and look at that. I think you sometimes have to spend a bit of time and effort getting your seed beds right. You know, direct everybody with direct drills. I, th I, I would sort of same opinion. You know, mixed opinions. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But I don't know. That's sort of uh, there's more water stood on here than than uh, than there should be really. But anyway, time will tell what spring says really. We had a balls up with pre -em spray. I've got it wrong tram lines for some reason anyway. With the direct drilling, I just start, I've told Ollie not to put any tram lines in whatsoever and just um, picked up last year's because you could see a slight indentation and where stubble aren't there, obviously, it lined. And uh, anyway, I've got wrong. I've got wide. I've got wide on that one. And uh, the volunteers and there's grass weeds not a lot of broadleaf stuff but a lot quite a bit of black grass come so it just proves um, it just proves um, what am I saying it just proves that how how potent that that uh, um, chemical is but also there's a lot more wheat there than there is where it's been sprayed so in a direct drill drill situation is the chemical too strong i don't know you answer that one because it's sort of baffled me you look at the seams of wheat in the bit i've missed and then let's jump over onto what has been sprayed there ain't as many uh there ain't as many plants i don't think so what's caused that could it have been burnt off by the chemical we used any of you local slow gin people, if you, anybody want to come and collect some, they're just at the perfect juicy time, I would say. And there's loads of them. It won't take uh, long to uh, to pick a stone or two. So yeah, if anybody wants any, give us a shout, and you can come. Saves them wasting. And I might get a better bottle of slow gin out of it. I'll win-win if you look down there not a rare sight nowadays white pheasant can you see it can you see it? it's just so it, it doesn't know where here but you see it there it goes yeah. God, those pheasants all over. in fact they were a very rare sight uh, but now I've, I don't know whether the breeders are breeding them so you know it's something a bit different for lads to shoot but or whether you are allowed to shoot them I don't know but yeah, they're quite common now. It's nine degrees today. It's bloody it's strange for time of year. We're nearly we're nearly in December. And uh, yeah, nine nine degrees. Yeah, very warm, mild 
Ooh, pleasant surprise when I come through egg, our oilseed rape is still growing like mad. In fact, I'm kicking myself yes yesterday. I could nail it. It was windy enough, but there was an opportunity to get my next lot of herbicide on, which is Astro Curb. But it has to be fairly good conditions because Astro Curb is a, there's some contact to go in as well. It's not just uh, residual, and there was a foliar feed, so the leaf had to be dry. But it's not about time I've thought about it. It was night sort of thing, but anyway. There may be an opportunity this week, but they are, the, they are the strongest of plants, but they're at a stage where they'll definitely survive winter, so I'm quite happy. I feel very happy, because at one point, bloody hell, I was worried that we were going to get next to now. And it's turned out that, yeah, it's quite uh, a success. That's a bit sticky underfoot. What wellies do you lot to wear? I used to be, uh, I used to buy them Lusha Moves, but well, two reasons really. One, they got over 200 quid for the ones I used to get. And another, I don't think they're as good. The linings sort of break down and uh, they wear out quite fast. So I've gone onto these big bloody moon boot things, look. Um, a lot of milk lads wear them apparently. Done a lot pure apart, is it? Or and they are a little bit big and clumbersome, but quite light. Driving, ooh, you have to get used to driving in them though, because they are big wellies, but very, very comfy. I'm sort of pleased, because when they first turned up, I thought, what have I done buying these bloody things? In fact, my daughter says, are you part of NASA? Are you off at moon? But no, uh, so, but no, they're good wellies, good wellies. God, I'm knackered. Bloody hell looking about. Look at that, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm really pleased. The Centurion Max has done a marvellous job on all these volunteers and a lot of grass weeds. They've really curled grass weeds around. And I reckon we hammer it with curb and we'll have a right good kill. So that's good. I know it keeps blowing smoke, smoke up his ass, but Ollie's made a fantastic job of drilling, he really has, because be before we got him the GPS, he was a little bit all over the spot, you know, young young lads looking at their phone, not looking what they're doing, um, but yeah, fantastic. Even Edlund's where he doesn't use his GPS, he's made a real good job, yeah, credit due to him. It used to be my job. And yeah, I don't know, I thought I'd have loads, loads of spare time, but I didn't. This back end, I was sort of racing around, ferrying here and there, doing stuff. And uh, yeah, kept myself busy, so. It's only about half eight, nine o'clock, and main road's really busy. Everybody going Christmas shopping, I suppose. Couldn't think of anything any worse, could you? I'd rather swim down that dike, to be fair, than going to York today, among all them shoppers. Yeah, our uh, rape, our uh, maize stubble, it's off in with maize again, it's terrible land for, it's quite, it's got a lot of real sandy patches, and it's terrible land for uh, eelworm, but maize seems to <laughs> grow through the uh, problem, you know, we don't get a lot of issues, in fact, I don't know whether I've told you, we got our weights in and we did 12 and a half tonne of maize, so I honestly think with the season we had and how dry it was, that is very, very acceptable, I was pleased. Um, you know, and it kept us some actually. Um, the price was good, so yeah, I think we're having as much next year. Just fits in with our rotation, you can. I mean, we have drilled that with wheat, but we do use it as a break crop, and uh, you get a good crop of wheat after it. The only risk is if it's a late crop and if it's a wet back end that uh, you make a mess bringing it off, but that's the chance you take. Right yeah, two different scenarios. That was drilled a fortnight before in dry conditions. This was drilled probably one of our last, well, uh, one of the, the last field, but one of them. And uh, there was a bit more, well, a lot more moisture. There was a, we paddled it a little bit. And you can just tell by looking at the water standing uh, that, 
you know, obviously it isn't letting the water through. But we've had a lot of rain overnight and then it'll stand and by tea, tea time half of that will have gone. And drains are running fairly fast so they are, it is finding its route through but, you know, drilling dry, i.e. early and dry, late and wet, you know, definitely has a, a difference. Finally got our new sign on. Well, to be fair, we had a lot of messing about in the beginning. Um, Keith, who built it for us, who made it for us, couldn't get the Hereford right. Um, and uh, anyway, he tried and tried with other images and got it right in the end. So yeah, very, very pleased with it. Maybe could have done with it being a little bit bigger, but no, it's right enough, really pleased with that. So yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what his company's called. He has a stall on Beverly Market and he has a, a, a website. And uh, yeah, I'll put the link in the description because, oh, we started on with this in probably April. And uh, and he, he did us some designs and then they went wrong and then we ended up into Harvest and oh, I was great about it. It wasn't bothered one bit. He says, oh no, I want it to be right for you. So, and yeah, he's got it perfect. I'm really pleased. And it wasn't real expensive neither. In fact, I was quite shocked with what he charged me. I was very, very satisfied. So, so thank you very much, Keith.